So you clicked on this video because you want to learn about passing, whether it be to pass to your duo, to do perfect one twos to the box, or just be a better teammate in general, which in my opinion, vision is lacking. Passing is such a fundamental part of vision, not just to be a better teammate, but you also need it to get up the field with the lack of stamina that there is in this game. What's going on YouTube and in today's video, I'm going to teach y'all all the fundamentals that you need to become a perfect midfielder in Roblox vision. Passing in vision is very easy and in my opinion, it can be much more fun than striking. Working with your team to move up the field and even getting the chance to strike on your own with the builds I'm going to show you today. Without further ado, let's get into analyzing some clips and showing you guys how to perfectly pass in Roblox vision. First step in creating the perfect opportunity to pass is creating space. And you can create space in many ways, whether it be dribbling, running, using skills. But in my opinion, the best way I like to create space is using my skills to my advantage to get into an open spot to pass to my teammate. And I'll show you guys in these clips. So in this position, I'm able to grab the ball and I instantly toss it up to use my Nagi trap skill, which will trap the ball and launch me forward. I do this because if you look, I have three defenders on me. If I just stay there with the ball, I'll, I'll be defenseless and I'll easily get tackled while I'm charging up my pass. And that is why I use the skill to create space and then giving the perfect passing opportunity to my teammate. In this clip, I have a different build. So I'm using Mock Cut-In. Mock Cut-In is also very good, maybe even better than Nagi Trap Skill because it gives you iframes the whole way through. So in this clip, I take the ball and instantly use Mock Cut-In to avoid any people who are trying to instantly tackle me during my end lag of tackling the ball. And with the Mock Cut-In, I'm able to gain a lot of space from my opponents and instantly pass to my teammate who's already running up the field. Another way you can make space is just by simply dribbling. In this clip, I know that my defender is about to try and slide tackle me, so I do a quick dribble. My teammate knows that I have the ball and trusts me to make space, so he instantly starts running up the field where I deliver him a perfect pass for him to make it up the rest of the field. Another crucial part in passing is knowing where exactly to pass. Sometimes you want to pass it directly to them. Sometimes you want to give them a through ball. Sometimes you might want to give them a lob pass or sometimes you just want to do a straight line pass. You need to think of these things in the moment to give the best and most accurate pass so your teammate can score a goal. Let me use this clip as an example. I, I take the ball and I create space as we established earlier. I notice my teammate is running forward full speed and has a defender behind him. I know that if I pass it directly to him, he has a chance of getting tackled by the defender as soon as he receives the ball. So I give him a through ball, which places the ball right in front of the penalty box, which allows him to get the ball and score an easy goal. Back heel passes are another very important part of passing. Back heel passing is when you charge up the ball, but then right click to do a back heel pass, which gives it more power, but launches the ball backwards. As demonstrated in the clip, you can see when I do a back heel pass, I turn my character around. So I'm still basically kicking the ball forward, but it's just with more power so I can reach farther teammates. I use back heel passing for mainly only one reason, and that is the greater power, because sometimes when a teammate is too far, Front passing just isn't going to cut it and you need that extra piece of power. So as demonstrated in these clips I'm about to show you, you'll see why back heel passing is so strong when it comes to being a midfielder. This clip as an example, you can see I get the ball from the goalkeeper. Once again, use the already established that we need to create space tactic. And I noticed that my teammate is exponentially farther from me than I had hoped. Because of this, I know that a front pass won't cut it. It'll fall short to just about there. So I know to start charging up and turn around to start and do a backwards pass. And as you can see in the clip, my back heel pass makes it right to my teammate where he doesn't have to go forward anymore because there's a defender clamping him and then he doesn't have to really go backwards any. It just falls right into his feet. Now, obviously, this isn't going to apply to everyone, but if you're like me and play with a duo, then communication is going to be key signaling when for your teammate to run up, where he should be, and where you're going to put the ball is key to being a good passer. And in these clips, I'll show you communication between me and my teammate that helps us set up, set up beautiful plays to get goals. 
I'm running with you. Oh my god. So as you heard in the clip, my teammate signals to me that he's running up behind me. So I know to be able to get him a through ball, I turn around, do a back heel pass, and instantly he sets up for a goal. And although he misses it, it was a beautiful play between me and him. I'm passing back to you. I have no stamina. Yeah. Great play. Faded the keeper. In this clip, me and my teammate are running up for a 1-2. We're close to the goal, I'm nearly out of stamina, but he looks like he's still got a lot left. So I si so as we run up, I signal to him that I'm out of stamina and give the ball back to him. Not only does this make it so he gets a full power shot, as stamina having less stamina makes you have less power, but it baits out the keeper, giving us a beautiful goal for our team. Now I know this video is about passing, but part of a midfielder's job is also being able to score when necessary. You don't want to give up a free goal just because you're not confident in your abilities. So in these clips I'm about to show you, you can see that I've developed a strong scoring opportunity for myself a lot. I do that a lot, but I also give up opportunities because I see better ones. So as you can see, I am a great goal scorer when I need to be. And really, that is going to be the end of becoming the perfect midfielder in Roblox Vision. I taught you guys everything I need to or everything you need to know. So hopefully you guys can now go out there, make perfect plays with your teammates, have a duo that you guys can score um, a bunch, rack up those goals. And for the rest of this video, I'm just going to let these clips play over. So if you need to see these clips a second time then you can but um yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye